Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Nobodies, and welcome to Artificer the Science of Magic. Now, for anyone who's been around the channel for a little bit, you might know that I really enjoy magic in video games. I think that the whole concept is pretty neat, but I'm also very particular about what I refer to as magic and what I particularly enjoy. See, I always thought of magic as a series of mysteries. The word arcane, or arcana, almost literally translating into the word mystery. And so the mastery of magic is mastery of the mysteries of the world. So magic itself is being used as a representation of knowledge, education, collaboration, and deciphering. There are a core set of principles in the world and your understanding of them is represented as magic. This is seen in a few television shows and books particularly well, but I've never seen it particularly well demonstrated in a video game. This is because often magic in video games is just shown as being the ability to shoot a gun at people as soon as you eat a book. However, Artificer here takes a different approach. It takes the narrative approach of showing, not telling. You learn about the technology and magic in this world by studying the world itself. Wondering what I mean? Let me show you. So the first thing to know is that Artificer is a survival game, much like Don't Starve. But in this game, we're on an alien planet we don't quite understand. There are some things we do know. Rocks are rocks, so we can pick rocks up off the ground, and we know, hey, that's what rock looks like. However, all of these other things here, we've got no clue. We try to interact with them, and we can't. So, in order to interact with them, we must examine them first. In order to examine, we right-click and hold, as you see, the little numbers, equations, and all that come up, and we come to understand what it is. This is a type of wood called whale, whale wood. Oh boy, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that word. And now, if we have the right tools, we can interact with it, I swear. Let's see, we found whale wood, we have found dotted algae. I'm assuming this is also whale wood. And this is snakeweed. And as you saw, as we examine the world around us, we don't just learn what it is, we find new ways to interact with it. This here, I assume, is an entire whale wood tree. Could gather them and improvise some stone tools, so we can now gather branches, and maybe Come back to here and make an improvised axe or pick. Honestly, we have enough materials to make both nearby, so we'll go ahead and make both. Um, don't worry, my dog is sick and dying. <laughs> we'll uh, probably take care of that later. So we went ahead and made an axe and a pick, and now in true survival game fashion, we can immediately start whacking it against a tree. To generate not just branches, but whole wooden logs. Let's follow a bit of the story so that we can actually progress. Because before we can do a lot of the actual work in this game, we're gonna need paper which is used in research. Um, before we do that real quick, let's make ourselves a fireplace. Uh, this will be important later. <laughs> Don't worry, Salazar. I'll get you medicine. Ooh, a new plant. Hold on. I'll get you medicine after I get this plant. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Actually, I'm just gonna take all these plants. My sick and dying dog can, uh... Oh. Oh, the snakeweed hurts. The snakeweed fights back. What a bastard. Another new plant. This will surely distract me from saving the dog. I need a knife to get that plant, damn.
Oh, there's something nearby. Oh no, it's Albert. Um, no signs of life? You never did beat me at chess, old boy. Uh, hello? Can we, can we move on? Something did this to him or someone. Um, maybe it was the monkeys? Oh god. Or the whale worms. These things are awful. Wham, you're dead. Now. Alright, there we go. <laughs> We've finished researching Albert's corpse and gotten ourselves some med kits that we can use for the dog. And... Having researched our dead enemy, we've learned about exopathy and whaleworm autopsy. This is a thing we'll be able to deal with later. But, uh, yeah, we'll just want to keep that tucked away um, for, for later on. <laughs> Despite the fact that we already knew what big rocks looked like, I guess we just learned what a larger rock is. It's not... Oh! I did get something new. What's this? Lodestone. All right. Let's make sure our dog doesn't bleed out. Oh. Okay, we also, we don't necessarily want to run into the monkey men. Um, this is why we have a campfire prepped back at base. Oh God, worms are everywhere. The worms are after us now. Okay, I shouldn't have gone into the woods at night. I knew it was a bad idea. I did it anyway. Just quickly, 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 quickly chop down the trees, please. Hello? We're just gonna use fire to scare off the monkeys. All right, so we have given medicine to the dog and he's given us a piece of paper. <laughs> Excellent trade. Oh, cool, we got survival experience by surviving through the night. Fantastic. I know we're gonna need like three paper before we can start researching. And we need to research in order to get paper, so... Oh! It's Maggie the Zoologist. She had a few weird pets. This looks like one of them. Oinkstein, the pig. He was supposed to be really smart. Not smart enough, I guess. Wow. Flippin' rude, man. Hey, more medkits. Okay. I can't believe you just straight up... Shit talk this woman's pig like that. She's dead. Show some respect. Alright. I'm seeing some smoke down here. Um. Hello? This creature wears clothes, uses tools. I found intelligent life. This is actually a really good, neat thing. So nervous. Too bad Salazar isn't here to witness this. So it's really hard to quantify what we would say intelligent life is. And I like that the game is just like, no, what makes life intelligent is that they wear clothes and use tools. I think that's a fair approximation for what we would say is intelligent life. Um, using tools and um, agriculture are a really good benchmark for what we would say is intelligent life, which is why I would argue that like ants might be. The creature seems friendly, gesturing wildly and pointing its insectoid appendages around. Lork, Torquarv, Ratul, Sitvid. Yeah, okay. I cannot understand this thing. I'm assuming it's a merchant because it has a pack on its back. But then again, it could just be another traveler like myself. 
We did manage to find some clay. I'm assuming... Ooh, wait, a pickaxe lets me pick up sand and clay? Okay. Well, I'm going to pick up sand and clay, just in case we need it. I may not understand what's useful, but uh, sand and clay sound like fairly useful things. I do need to salvage paper from somewhere, because I believe we can't just make paper just yet. Which, paper, is one of the important things in research. Because, you know, people will say that messing around and finding out are the two steps to research. What they fail to uh, acknowledge is that vital final step, notation. All right, where are we gonna find paper at? I can't remember. Oh, even more new plants. Hold right click to examine an object. This is snail horn. This is red twig. And then we have a mushroom. Weeping agaric. And you? Found supplies. Ooh. Did I find paper? <gasps> I found paper! Ooh, and a communication device. Nice. Ooh, and even more med kits. Oh, this was the direction I was supposed to go in. Not finding that other person. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's head back to base. That way, we can build ourselves a research bench. Let's go craft that. I like that it uses a lot of the same sort of uh, audio cues as Don't Starve. If you're familiar with Don't Starve, you know, the game's soundscape will help you be familiarized with a lot of what it does. R to access the research tree and scribe research scrolls. So we go into here and we say, I want to learn about maybe uh, heat treatment, right? And now we have a heat treatment scroll that we dump into here and we get points by examining alien flora and fauna that we use to turn over these tiles. And I think we have to match tiles? until they're all gone. So that, so we've got algae, skull, eye, floating star, skulls, and there we go. So we spent, what was that, 11 on uh, researching this? Press R to make new research scrolls. But now we know how to make a kiln, as well as torches, standing torches, and glass bottles. That's fantastic. Now, what else should we be researching here? Probably like herb lore, since there are a lot of herbs around here. Oh, this is a different mini game. Hold on now. Is it a different kind of research? No. Why? Who knows? Okay, so what we need to do is heat this up to exactly this level. So, the sun. Okay. Water. So what if I just drop the sun in again? Saturn. The moon. Saturn. Saturn again. Drop the moon back in. Alright, the, the moon. Ah, there we go. Alright. That was only nine points. That's not bad. So we've now completed herb lore. What does that do? That gives us algae bandages. Oh, and a mortar and pestle. Okay. Not enough resources. The fact that we can make algae bandages. Ooh, mush cane pulp. Okay. So we need twigs. Gimme, 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 gimme. And here we go, we harvest the wood. Come over here. 
make ourselves a mortar and pestle. Which we of course just slap down haphazardly wherever we want. And mush cane pulp. Well, I assume we put mush cane into the pulping device and get mush cane pulp. Fantastic. So we just mush all of the cane into pulp. And now we can make algae bandages. Okay. You know what? Oh, we never made the um the thing. We have eight clay here. We have three wood. We have ten stone. And now we have a kiln. So now we slap down a kiln. Throw some branches into the kiln. And we can make glass. Nice. Can I put a lodestone in here? No. Clay? What do you mean we can't bake clay? Um, let's put the flare in. Nothing. Paper? Alright. Dotted algae? Nothing. Mush cane. Wait. Oh! Mush cane pulp makes paper. Well, that's useful. Oh god, it's nighttime. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me go, uh... Let me go start a fire so that none of the natives make fun of us. Or bother us. Oh god! Die. Okay. There were worms in the tree. Yeah, I'm not necessarily worried about the natives making fun of us as much as I am. Uh, murdering. It's really the murdering more than making fun that bothers me. I can handle some light ribbing, but um, lightly losing my ribs is where I draw the line. Alright, so we've got a bunch of paper. You know what? We can actually just research all of this stuff, I think. Exo. Dissect the enemy. Hold on now. That's the one we want. So, we're gonna come over here to the research bench, and we're gonna learn how to tear apart monsters. Alright, fantastic. We got it. Exopathology. Now, exopathology allows us to make an autopsy table. I don't have the research that I don't have the resources available for the re autopsy table. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right. So, we slap down the sacrificial altar, which definitely doesn't look evil at all. And oh, right. Hold on. Yeah, this definitely looks evil, doesn't it? Well, wait till you see what we do with it. I do have to do a bit more research. Give me just a moment. Oh, good. Another mini game. There we go. All right. Now we've learned how to make rope out of snake weed. Not enough resources. Primitive warfare research? Hold on. Give me a moment. <laughs> Game, you can only throw so much at me at one time. Alright, now we have some rope. We can come over here. Or around here. I keep getting myself caught up on things. You. Come with me. You. Come with me. Alright. Alright. Onto the altar with you, because you see, this game has you researching the corpses of your opponents, but it's not quite like other games, because you don't simply throw them onto an altar and then some wibbly stuff happens. No, you have to skillfully dissect your opponents, figuring out, okay, what bits look like they come off first? So if I look at this, it looks like the top bit here overlaps the middle bit here, so if we go there... Oh, okay, I ruined it. And I poisoned myself. Methodical po post-mortem. What does that mean? 
primitive warfare. A good surgeon knows when not to operate. Okay, maybe this will be a thing that makes it easier to do the research. Yay, more mini games. I call them mini games, but really at this point, they're the core experience of the game. They're 90% of what you do. All right, methodical postmodernism. Post what does this do? Removing organs, bad cuts. With some help from Salazar, you can make one mistake during an autopsy before you spoil the corpse. Fantastic! Now I can make a ton of mistakes. Wait, what's whale worm autopsy do? I have to perform the autopsy first? Okay, you. Come with me. I'd say come with me if you want to live, but that is so far off the table. Alright, so the, t the head bit breaks the whole corpse, so we're gonna, we're gonna rip off its asshole first. And hey, look at that, the asshole comes out neatly. Now can we take off the head? No. The carapace? Oh, I need to take out its... <laughs> I need to take out the whole butthole first. Alright, we have one more corpse to try this on. Let's go. Alright, so we take off the butt. Then we take out its spine. Then I guess we extract the uh, chewy uh, insides. No? Now do we take off the head? Okay, and then we remove the carapace. And then we get its delicious, delicious innards. And now, we have done research! What does this do? Um, analyzing droppings in the, di in the digestive system leads to a, a, leads you to a conclusion that the whale worm is an omnivore, feeding on tree sap, insects, and small animals. You found some strange openings beneath its hard shell, leading straight to a main neural tract. Purpose as of yet unknown, hemolyph is greenish in color and seems to form a basis of an immune system. No reproductive organs were found. With this new knowledge, you are able to harvest shell plates of the insect with a knife easily and assess whether the creature is injured or not. Oh! Well, we can learn about warfare so we can get a knife. All right, we've learned primitive warfare. Now give me a knife. Shell knife. A. Oh. Oh, that's dark. So we actually use their shells to cut them open. Like how diamond is what cu best cuts diamond. Man. <laughs> that's vicious. I'm going to use you to cut open all of your friends. <laughs> Fuck. Is that another whale worm? Are you alive? Not for long. Hey, guess who's getting cut open? That's right, you are. Give me that shell. Hello, friend. Friend worm, why? Friend worm, I loved you. Why did you betray me like this, friend worm? <laughs> Just because I was stabbing you with a knife. Ooh. All right, whale worm, time to die. Um, is that a goblin? Did these whale worms eat some goblins? Ooh! Some goblins indeed! Oh my god, there are like five of them. Alright, whale worm friend. I got a sneak attack! Well, that was good. Oh god. Oh, wait, am I just getting stronger? I think I'm getting significantly stronger. Yeah, I think I just started dealing a lot more damage. Oh, there was a rock under there. Sometimes rocks hide in bushes to ambush you. I hate saying that things hide in bushes to ambush you. I wonder, is there a connection between the word bush and ambush? 
I don't want to assume so, because that sounds really stupid. Alright. So I found a goblin. It is a Ozaman corpse. Okay. So we're going to drag this corpse back to our base so we can study it. That's not morbid at all. Don't worry, this is just the corpse of somebody we've never met. We don't know anything about them or their family. But we're gonna we're gonna cut them up. It's fine. Alright. So they've got tusks. That looks like it's under the skin. They've got ears. They've got skin. Do we remove the skin before the ears? Maybe we remove the ears first. And then we remove the skin? Do we remove the tusks? And then the skin? Oh! We really did remove all of their skin. Jeez. Okay, so we remove the top half. Okay, it was the bottom half and then the top. Well, let's go do some science mini games before we get back to the uh, autopsying. All right, I think we finished with all of our research for the moment. Damn, look at that. We're so good at this. We just have to figure out what these mog things are. All right. Ooh, we can do a cartography set. We need charcoal and paper. And we can make a box. Give me the box. All right, we can slap down a box right here to put all of our extra crap in. However, cartography set. Now, if I know anything about charcoal, which I don't, I know that it's made by burning wood. This is what Minecraft has taught me. Hello? Yes, charcoal go! Alright, I've made two charcoal by burning four wood. Fantastic. Alright, cartography set a go go. Not enough resources. Oh, I need paper! I'm out of paper, holy crap! Gimme paper! Burn, 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 burn. Can I burn paper? No. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Alright, cartography set, let's go. So does this mean I have a map now? <gasps> I do! Holy crap! I have a map. This map is actually incredibly unhelpful. I guess it tells me how big the world is. Okay. And it'll help me find my way back home. It looks like this game world's not particularly big, so like maybe the game's not particularly long or anything. Hmm, who knows. I mean, it's a respectable size. Um, I don't want to make the game feel insecure or anything. And we have ourselves an actual tool of war now. A spear. Now. How about we go back and we round up more of those corpses? Oh, I didn't even realize how injured I was. I'm so glad I stopped for a half a second to, uh, to check. Alright, whale worm buddies. How are we doing? Are y'all still around? Not really? Okay. You, give me your corpse. Wait, what's this? What's this? <gasps> oh god! Okay, that scared me. We got him. Oh! Oh damn, this thing wrecks shit! It just one-shots a whale worm. Whale root? Well, I hope that killing this is worth it. Alcor has claimed you. Oh. Did I just... I think I wasn't paying attention to my health. <laughs> well, shit! That, that sucked. But I think you get the point. This has been Artificer Science of Magic, and it's an absolutely delightful little game. I love that it has you, like, 
dissecting creatures, doing all these science mini games and stuff like that. And, um, maybe we come back for more on this. I'm not sure just yet. If you're interested in Artificer Science of Magic, I will leave a link in the description. And if you're interested in seeing more of this, just let me know in the comments and we'll see how this video does. In the meantime, y'all, just remember, nobody scares. Thank you very much and good night. Let me slap a new box on there. Let me open that up. And then, oh, no, no, we, we want to put the box back on there. Bullets go there. The bullets go there. We slide that shut. Do that. And then the murder button works.